I feel like this question for money on your mind is going to apply to many of you listening. So have you ever found yourself scrolling late at night and all of a sudden you have a cart full of items or things are showing up on your doorstep in little cardboard boxes that maybe you had never anticipated? Well, how do you stop the late night shopping and spending? Look, my friends, we have been living for the last two years, a lot of us inside four walls, and some of us have ventured out and started to venture out doing different things. That being said, so much of our lives have been here on a screen, whether it's swiping, whether it's scrolling, whatever it might be, we spend our time a lot of times very connected whether it be laying in bed late at night because we can't sleep and we roll over and we grab our phone and we start scrolling. One thing that I would recommend, if this is something that you're falling into habit with, I sleep with my phone in my room, but I don't do late night spending. I have a tendency to just roll over and fall back asleep or try to, or I turn on a meditation if I'm having a hard time falling asleep. If you are in that space, you don't sleep with your phone in your room. And if you have any electronic devices that allow you to do that, maybe you shut them down and you set timers that don't allow you to access certain certain things at certain times. So that's like the extreme of getting yourself a lot of security. The other pieces that I would say, um, something very simple for you to do, stop autofill on all of your items for whatever it is, it is your guilty pleasure at night, whether it's an ad that is served to you on some sort of social media platform or that you um, are Target or Amazon loading your cart up, right? I think a lot of us can be very guilty of doing that. Stop saving your card in something so you actually have to go get your card. You have to think about it. You have to do something. It's one extra step. And then maybe think about that aspect of things. The next piece is I would say, put something in your cart for 24 to 48 hours and see if you really needed it again. Did you make it through that 24 to 48 hours without needing that item or it not needing to be replaced by something? Like Lynn, if it's an ad you've been served or something that you've scrolled upon, it probably isn't necessarily something that you needed. Now you can also categorize things as needs, wants? Is it a reward for yourself for achieving something big that you want to celebrate? Categorize those types of spending and allow yourself the time to be able to define what those things mean to you. I would also say that if you are going through a particularly hard patch in your life, as I've said this many times, money touches every aspect of our lives. And dear friend, It's not going to solve those feelings by you buying something. If you are lost a loved one, got broken up with, lost your job, are going through a bout of depression or anxiety or anything else that might be happening in your life, that thing isn't going to replace it. It is simply just a Band-Aid. You are so worthy of so much more in your life. So filling up that cart and potentially putting yourself in a space where you aren't achieving the things you wanted to be able to financially is actually creating a setback for you. And you don't need to do that. So I challenge you to maybe take your journal out and write why, what are the triggers for yourself in those types of situations? And lastly, This is something that I like to do if I feel like I'm spending too much lately. I take whatever it is that I was going to spend and I transfer it to savings. So if I was going to spend $100 on something or $25 or $40 on something I didn't really need, I put it in savings instead. So it feels like the act of doing something, but actually I'm paying myself rather than somebody else. So just to recap things, um, first of all, maybe don't sleep with your phone or an electronic device anywhere near you if you are subject to late night spending. 
stop auto-filling your credit cards or your debit cards or things of that sort. It's also a security thing that you want to make sure that you're not doing those types of things. Put something in the cart for 20 to 40, 24 to 48 hours. Did you really need that item or could you live without it? If it is something that you need, want, or are rewarding yourself with, what does that mean to you? Take a time to hit that journal with your pen and paper and figure out what are the emotions that are coming with some of the things that are happening in your life. And lastly, lastly, challenge yourself that instead of spending, transferring that money to savings. If you would like to submit a question for Money on Your Mind, simply go to forethoughtplanning.com resources and then Money on Your Mind to submit your questions.